Once again, welcome to Hobby World and my from scratch to track build on day five out of seven. And the track is really beginning to take shape, as you can see here, right behind me. This is beginning to look really incredible. Today is going to get really creative as I'm going to finish the landscaping part, making this look like mountains and adding trees and maybe some small pieces of terrain. So um, stay on the channel, hope you enjoy and that this video will inspire you. Uh, quick overview since yesterday, as you can see, this actually looks pretty good, but the paint isn't completely dry yet, unfortunately. And I have often said you do not want to rush hobby projects as you will only mess them up, but I am not allowed that luxury today. I will have to finish it as I'm on a strict deadline. So, going to finish this today, no matter what. If we sort of zoom in on the track here, we can see there are some tiny holes here that are white. This looks terrible and they will have to be removed. They are caused by the expanding foam and the air holes in there and the brush didn't quite get in there so uh, they will have to go. That's going to take a bit of time. I am going to create the texturing of the track or some depth in the uh, mountains using rattle cans or spray cans with different colors. That will be colors like brown, a bit red, some yellow, some green, all kinds of colors. I'm going to overspray the track here and get these into all the cracks and gaps on the mountain sides. So after I've done that on all of the track with a set of different colors and just small areas of the track here, then I'm going to overspray the entire track using a gray color and then I'm going to overspray some single areas with a lighter gray and finally I'm going to dry brush everything using a gray color. This way some of the brown red and green tones and so on will stay in the cracks and gaps of the uh, track creating some life and creating some uh, uh, making it more look more natural and i think this will be the fastest way to paint up a large large mountain area like this because there are several techniques used to making mountains but i'm going to try this one today because this is really fast and it's also fun to work with the rattle cans. Just remember to wear something to uh, cover your mouth and nose so you don't get the stuff inside. So let's get started. Let's just take a break from the time lapse. The camera actually ran out of battery and I had to go inside and get a new one. So um, this is a perfect time to just show what I've done so far. Didn't take very long. It looks really strange right now. And that's because these colors of the red and brown and, and green isn't supposed to be on top. And it will be removed from the top once I start overspraying it with gray and dry brushing all of the mountains with the gray paint. So there is still something I need to do before I can get to that step and that is go down here and look along the edge of the track and see if there's any of these white holes in here and then I'll have to get those removed and I'm going to do that now. So that will be a tedious task running around all of the track and seeing if I can find any of them from different angles but it's necessary. So uh, let's get that done. Not bad, not bad at all. Now I'm going to add a bit of copper spray just to make it look like there is a tiny bit of metal in there in some veins and so on. So I haven't tried that before. Actually, I haven't tried doing anything like this before in this scale. So I'm excited to see how it will turn out.
so far today, I am pretty happy with myself. I've only used around one and a half hour, maybe two hours on all of this. <laughs> it looks, I, I personally think this looks amazing. And I can't wait to get the track finished and putting on the track pieces. And then I considered when I'm going to put up some lights on the track to illuminate it in certain areas. We have these areas here with the copper in the, uh, the mountains. I think they'll, they'll light up a bit, they'll reflect the lights and I think it's going to look really incredible. Just check this out, we have the whole track right here. I ended up using these colors for the project. So we have some green, we have some red, we have some tones of brown. And then we have this bluish gray, which gives that real nice effect over there on the track. And then a light gray and a couple of metals, a copper and a gold. So now I printed these yesterday, or some of this yesterday. And uh, I think this needs to be sprayed so it will suit a bit more because you can see it's very shiny right now. But um, it's going to be placed here together with the rest of these to create sort of those bridges the cars will be running on. This is going to look incredible. Pretty happy with the mountains as they are right now. When I'm going to add some vegetation, that's going to look incredible. But something annoys me, and that's these track pieces. The Career Go series has this uh, curb here printed on the track. And uh, I need to do something about that because this will look horrible on my, uh, on my slot car track here. So I think I'm going to spray paint these areas, probably in a brown color. So I'm going to use another track piece like this as sort of a template. I'm just using a track piece I'm, I'm not going to use for the track itself. And then I'm going to spray using a brown color here, overspray this area. So the edge of the tracks will be brown, so the ones along the uh, mountain hill will be brown and then have this uh, black um, asphalt. So uh, I think that's a way to do it. So uh, let's try that. But I need to get all of these track pieces I have here <laughs> spray painted. And that's going to take a long time and it needs to dry up. And then I can install them on the track. After that, I'll add all of the vegetation. So I uh, need to get that done. This actually seems quite fine, that will uh, do the trick. So now I only need to do it with all of those track pieces I have down here. So this is going to take so long. Luckily I caught up some time when doing the mountain, so hopefully there will be enough time for it. I can't wait to get the track pieces back on here. So um, let's just get started, no need to uh, stall it any further. That was the last of the track edges, so <laughs> there are so much track that I just had to leave it everywhere. And so I hope I can find it when I'm about to put it back on the uh, surface. So uh, we have a couple of pieces here, and I ended up using the uh, mountains here uh, as a storage facility for all of these tracks while they are just drying up. So um, you can see, I got them everywhere. So um, after they have dried, I'm just going to leave them for a couple of hours just to be completely sure. Then I'm going to start the puzzle of getting them back on this track where they belong without damaging anything I have already made. And after that, I'm going to do also vegetation on the track. So, um, nice.
got this farm. This is how the track looks with track on it. Um, I'm very impressed with the results so far. This is day five and uh, I still need to add all of the vegetation. But just with all of this rock surface, and I know the rock isn't made as realistic rock. This is made more like a, I would say, cartoony rock effect. But uh, I think it looks really incredible, especially in areas such as this in here, when we drive down that tunnel here and we have a bit of copper and gold down the sides. I think it looks really well. So <laughs> I'm going to add some green vegetation around the track, but I'm just going to do a test drive on the track here to see if everything still works because it has been disassembled and uh, I have spray painted, so I might have hit some of the joints. So um, let's just do a quick test run on the track to see if both tracks still work. I'm also going to be working on the bridges here. I have already 3D printed some of it. We have a bit of the parts here. I have a printer working constantly on it. So this is going right here below the track, of course. And I originally, I just wanted to use those as they were, but they have this shiny 3D printed thing over them so I want them to be uh, matte like the rest of the track so I'm going to give them a quick overspray with some uh, some brownish colors and if I can get the time to it I will also do a bit more detailing on them so um, yeah looking good so far Unfortunately, my fine test lab didn't go quite as well as it seemed in the video because I actually had to make a lot of corrections before filming that piece. I just tried to run a car to see how everything went before filming and it stopped like everywhere. And uh, it was in these joints that I had the problem. And the problem was, of course, uh, and I knew this could happen, but I just hoped it wouldn't, that I had spray painted all of these track pieces here. And, um, some of the spray paint might have gotten onto the connectors and um, when reassembling it I didn't clean them up so um, I have uh, disassembled parts of the track and uh, then cleaned this stuff up to make sure that it has a nice connection. When cleaning, cleaning up the uh, track pieces I use this stuff this is made for electrical cleaning and it also lubricates so uh, you can clean electrical uh, pieces with it and it will lubricate them. So that has the advantage with truck car tracks that you can clean the track pieces and we also leave this uh, this uh, coating on the surface that will help against rust. So uh, I use that stuff all the time on my slot car tracks, at least the ones with iron rails. So, yeah. But I got everything working so now it's time to uh, start making or oh, adding some of the vegetation on the track. And I'm of course going to use the vegetation to also hide if there should be some errors. And the foam here I have, not every, it doesn't look absolutely amazing everywhere. So I'm going to use those trees I'm going to add as uh, some sort of way of hiding that. And as the track is modular, we have this gap here. You can see it right there. So by adding some trees here, I might help diffuse that so people will not notice the gap. Even though I don't think it's that bad because Mountains has all of these crevices and so on. So I think it looks pretty good here. But uh, we can still hide a bit with, tre with the trees and vegetation. It's about time to do the vegetation on the track. And basically there are two types of vegetation. There is the ground cover that will stay along with the, the ground. It will be close to the ground. Uh, I could use flock for that. And then there is the trees. And I found these couple of boxes in my storage. I, uh, have uh, stored away a lot of trees and not all of them look good anymore but um, I'm planning on using as many of these as possible because I have stored them for a special occasion I always do that and then I end up with a lot of stuff laying around and if all my hobby projects aren't special then what are they so I have decided to use this stuff and uh, if I ever need any trees for a later project then I'll just have to buy them because they ain't doing any good laying down here in these boxes so let's get some of these trees up on the track and 
generally I would say it would be smart to do the ground cover first before adding the trees because the trees will be on top but um, I just want to add some trees so to be honest that's what I'm going to do so um, if I was doing a tutorial I would do it completely differently but right now I just want to add some trees Well, it's beginning to get a bit dark outside and I had to run off for a family errand for a couple of hours I didn't expect. So uh, that kind of ruined my time schedule. But nonetheless, if we take a look at the track right now as it looks here and consider how this looked this morning, there's been an incredible progress. And I am very happy about how this track has turned out during this day. So I think this looks incredible. It's a bit cartoony and I really like that style, especially considering that I have a Lightning McQueen and those cars for the Career Go series. So that would actually feel very welcome on this track, having those drive around. So um, as I've said before, I really hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope this has inspired you. We would really love to see more slot car tracks in the world, so if you haven't got one already, I think you should start considering building your own. It isn't that hard. And if you already have a slot car track, I hope that some of the stuff I've done here has helped inspire you to do some more stuff about it or improve on it or just change something. So, yeah, remember to subscribe to the channel. That would mean a bunch to me and uh, hit the like button and if you have any questions, comments, feedback, positive, negative, anything, I always answer the comments down below. So throw down, one down there and uh, anyway, happy racing everyone and have a great day.